Hello everyone! Welcome back to Sword Wars Place FTL. Yes, we'll delete that uh, thumbnail run. Uh, last episode that you saw, we gave our best attempt at the uh, finishing off the crystal uh, cruiser run. We uh, did not succeed, but we did unlock the uh, Mantis cruiser. I think I'm gonna wait though, because I'm just really in a mood to play some more of the uh, rock cruiser. And let's get started. The data carries file for the main Reddit. It's filed to the main. The. How's it go? The lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue. The lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue. Okay. The data you carry is filed to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for your journey, so make sure you explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Yeah, um. <laughs> had some recording issues. Turns out I recorded a few episodes without um, any audio. Because I didn't uh, configure my laptop. Because I'm a little tired today. You stumble across the fort, scout of the rebel fleet. They are part of the FTL. If they get away, no doubt the warrant for your position. I talked about it a little bit in the last episode. I've just been <laughs> working my ass off lately. It's just kind of exhausting. I think that's high dodge. We need to take down the pilot system. Ah, uh, yikes, 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 yikes. Nice dodge, though. They have some fast repair, too, going on. I don't like it. But, yeah, I've been, uh... Working my ass off lately. And it's been a little tiring. I think we're back in this now with... I thought they were going to get away for a second. It was looking like it. We just, they, messed, they, they were able to dodge for a couple shots. really just kind of halted us. Took a, let us take a few damage. The ship breaks apart and leave, and you are relieved to know that you're still one step ahead of the fleet. All right. But, uh, real quick. What are our goals for this episode? Try to get the Ancestry achievement, which requires to get to the, uh, uh, Secret Sector, which requires us to complete the, uh, Crystal uh, Cruiser unlock. So... That's going to be our main goal. If we can get a win, it's also pretty good. If we can unlock any other ships, like mainly the uh, going ship we can only unlock left, besides the Crystal Cruiser, is the uh, Federation one. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station, sent to indicate a storage for military goods. Let's attack the automated ship and get to the storage cache. Annoying, but not as annoying as it could be. And what do we need right now? Well, really, we... You don't need, like, right away. We're doing all right to begin with. That's wrong. Because we start off pretty powerful. The biggest concern is, like, be able to pierce shields later. So, getting, like, something like a Falcon or an Iron Blast Mark uh, 2 would be pretty good. But, yeah, I've been uh, just working a lot lately. And, like, over time while also in college, which is not fun. And it's not. It's one thing when it's, like, working this job. Because for this job, I can get homework done pretty easily. It's kind of becomes a problem when I'm. They request me to be a gate attendant again because their coronavirus is because so understaffed that there's literally no one working this, this store besides me, and kind of people coming in and out. But you saw where you came from the broken ship. Let's investigate the station. The station storage site for military grade weapons. You find one that could be easily attached to your ship. But basically, we they keep hiring new people, and then just before they able to get more people in, the people that they hired quit because it's a sh shitty job when you have to. Keep covering crazy hours. Uh, you find the source of your distress call. A small research station appears to have a small laboratory fire to get out of control. It's threatening to destroy a station. The fire suppression system's not working. Let's uh, send our rock crew member in. Your rock uh, soldier tears through the air, locked directly into the fire. You've never seen someone that large move that fast. It disperses as much fire suppression as possible to hard the blaze, and eventually the fire starts to die down. Let's contact the survivors. It's not bad. With most of the fire under control, scientists are able to help secure the station. They offer you sincere gratitude and offer a generous reward. What does this do for us? And it's not as crazy as I thought it was. I thought it was like, oh, it's going to uh, bypass all zones, so. But that's not the case. <laughs> we also need, like, long-range scanners. That's something else we need. If you find a mercenary hired for this beacon, a unique skills can provide 
can sometimes fight to be useful or prove to be useful. Man, but it's a uh, fight to ship though, because mercenaries are worse than rebels, and the only honorable course is to gauge mercenaries in battle. But I do think it's a. Uh, I did. I did tell my boss it shouldn't be happening for too much longer. Like, yeah, I'm done after this week. I can't keep covering. Mainly because my grades are all starting to get affected. Like, again, it's not as bad when I'm, like, working this shift. Because at least I can get homework done in between. But now I'm working in this gate attendant. Uh, half the week. Ship regularly pales to you. It looks like they want to surrender. We will not accept surrender. And it keeps going up more and more. And I got a feeling that these new people that I just hired. They said, oh, we're only going to need you for one time next week, most likely. Well, I got a feeling that, you know, people are going to quit last second. That's what happened yesterday. Yesterday, I, was, I had to work uh, shifts that I don't usually work. I had to work an opening shift. The ship explodes, leaving behind uh, scrap material. Uh, I had to work an opening shift. Uh, wake up at 3.50 to be there at 5 o'clock. It's a half an hour drive. Need to get ready. Uh, appears that an automated rebel scout's position within its neighborhood warrant if you're passing. It powers up its FTL drive. If it gets away, no doubt warrant to leave your position. Oh, also, uh, after you get back to the shielding room. Took down the scary weapon. It's gonna take some, some time to repair that, so I think now we can go for the piling system. Let's go. And let's get the engines for good measure, you know? Ship breaks apart. If you're relieving the knowledge, you'll still hopefully be one step ahead of the fleet. Yep. Yes, sir. Let's go down here down to the store. I'm thinking. Uh, you arrive at the greeted. Your arrival is greeted by numerous computer alerts. A nearby automated rebel scout has used the local satellite to deploy fires and disrupt your shield systems. Hopefully, it won't cause further problems before you can destroy it. Ah, that's a problem that you have that beam. Drone. <laughs> okay, this will be fun. Okay, well. It's not the best because they're gonna they still have the heavy laser. We'll see what they have this shop. They have long range scanners that you know maybe we'll consider, but this is getting a little bit out of hand. Guys, get in there. You get in there. You gotta be kidding me, right? Well, that, this 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 battle really hurt. But I think we got it under control now. I think they're done. Bang, bang goes Maxwell Silverhammer. I was doing that a lot on the day I was just playing FTL straight. I, that was not a good idea. <laughs> this, it's not good for content. It's not good for anything, but I was definitely dead on that, at the end of that. So let's go here. But I just, you know, I really want to lock the crystal ship. The uh, ship explodes in behind scrap material. But yeah, anyway, so I had to get up at like 3.50 the other day and then I'm there and get a call and it turns out the person that was supposed to come after me quit and I was told to stay as long as I could possible. I told him I'll give him a couple more hours because I feel bad. You know, probably shouldn't because I've been covering a lot. And maybe so I stayed for a couple hours and I told him like I, I can only go to like next week and then I gotta be done. And that probably will be the case because I'm just, I am starting to, my, I can't, besides everything else, I can't let my grades be affected. And my mental health, too. My mental health is really, you know, very important. That's why I'm kind of playing FTL right now. <laughs> Instead of doing homework. But, you know, it's been a long week. 
There's only been one other ship at speaking and showing heavy damage. You receive a message on your console. Greetings, traveler. Rio crippled by a band of pirates and now forced to sell our remaining valuable equipment to acquire necessary supplies to get home. That's pretty good. Crew teleport is also kind of interesting if you get something going good. No, nothing else though. We're gonna sell these and maybe this too. Cause Sell this, get this going. Get back up to green. Shit. Okay. Oh, well, never mind. Get back to your position, Atari. Let's get here to the Stress Beacon. Let's continue on. Uh, you arrive at the Stress Beacon and find a small asteroid. And near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate markings partially crossed between two large rocks. It must have been illegally mined to battle without proper equipment. Let's, uh, try to slouch in the ship. You fire a few volleys to the rock and start to shudder break apart. Without shields, the pirate ship takes a beating, but eventually pulls free. They thank you for the assistance. All right. Now let's do this. Turn off one of these each. Get this going. And then we'll work towards getting the ion blast going. Let's go this way. I mean, kind of, I think, jump up here till we need to, to the exit. Your jump leads to nothing but empty space. It's jumping because there's no purpose other as a, than a connection. There's a store. But we have nothing to sell. Find a small space station appears to be abandoned. Move things to the station. Upon closer inspection, it appears a large portion of its hull is destroyed. You take what few supplies you can find. Let's get here. Then the exit. And it was feeling better today. And especially while our pirate ship approaches you. Hand over one of your crew members, and the rest of you can go free unharmed. We'll never run over our crew slavers. I actually got some sleep last night. <laughs> Part of it, too, is that I, I am a. Uh, I'm seeing someone and uh, you know, I'm trying to put a little bit of time to that as well Why is like auto fire right now? We should run and take one of our slaves as tribute if destroy us all die anyways. Welcome aboard Oni. You're gonna be our new shield person. And let's get to the exit. You arrive at a long range beacon when you have to deal with Travis Charge, you can jump to the next sector. You recognize a well known slave trader. He hails you and offers laborers for cheap. Let's attack the slave scum. Don't like this as much. We can go something like this, maybe. I don't like the missile launcher, mainly. That should be for like my shields. Like it just did there. Ah! Now this is a fucking problem. This thing's got such high dodge. What the actual fuck, man? Bang, bang goes Maxwell Silverham. Get back on the shields. Damn, they, they got like such high dodge, it's not even funny. Okay, go for this still. Go for the piloting system so we don't stop, miss anymore. There we go. We surrender and take one of our status tribute. Be sure it's all die anyways. I will take a Sultan. Welcome aboard. We got, where are we gonna put you on? Weapons, I guess? Sure. Sure. And then we're gonna put a uh, tack in here. Maybe we'll try to get door systems or something. In fact, I want you to, though, get here. I'm gonna heal you guys both up to. Let's wait for our auction to return. We don't need to heal to 10 because he barely took like, any damage. He's like, yeah, only took three. Is 
Oh, attack. Again, it's just a little... It, it's a little slow playing this. Uh, she can't ship. Okay. I said we go energy controlled. So this is like pirate controlled and not the rock home world. Then we can see if we can kind of go down here. See this like rock home world as well. But this does give us a lot of options. So let's go energy control. And what we look for, we look for a distress beacon. <laughs> you arrived at the energy um, space. The mantis have been threatening the energy core worlds, but you should be able to stock up for your journey. You guys get back to position. It's up to you, you're going here. Save this. Speaking of stress beacons, that was fast. Please let it be the one we need. It's not, it's nothing bad here. Nope. You arrive at a stress beacon at a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate mark. We already read this. Destroy and loot the ship. They're just pirates. You decide the pirates aren't worth saving and fire through follows to the hall before you can scrap the remains. No pirate ship flashed on the radar. Perhaps they saw your deed. Perhaps they want to claim disposal themselves, but for whatever reason, they're charging their weapons. It's following me. I want to fight. Anyways, put us back into the engines. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. The ship's trying to power the FTL and escape. That's also why, uh, you know, other series have been kind of... I mean, keep saying I'm going to bring back XCOM. I keep saying we're going to play some Doom Eternal. It's just been kind of hard. The ship explodes in behind the craft material. Let's go up here. We don't, we don't use missiles, so this is actually pretty good. There's a black market hub here. You receive a message. These are dangerous times. If you have any extra military-grade explosives, we'll gladly pay for them. Yeah, give me 15. Thank you. This will help greatly. Thank you, sir, for this crap. Let's go to the store, get some fuel, get maybe long-range scanners, get something else. Who knows? Uh, NG ship hails. Engines upgrade necessary for travel home. Sale of equipment necessary for engine upgrades. I do that. As I keep looking on for stress beacons, you see a stress call from a nearby NG ship. Uh, assistance requested danger present, imminent destruction. Respond to the calls, move to assist. You receive there are another message from the ship, this time with the mantis at the comm log. Foolish meat sack, he yells. Sensors indicate the ship is moving into attack and board is help port on the station. Okay, well, it's a good time for you three to. Get over here. He's on this. He's this. I don't like this at all. There we go. Okay, that's better. It's not perfect, but definitely better. Nice dodge. Let's go for the shields next. Okay. Everyone back to position except for you. Sophia, stay in here. Do what you do best. Oh, okay. Tack, you get in here. My bad. Yeah, I think they're not looking too good. I think they might be dead. Amen. They did, they did some damage to us. I won't, I won't give... I won't hide that fact. Oh, we breached some. That's still good. That's the one thing the Heavy Pierce has. It doesn't have, like, a lot of shield-stopping power, but if you can get through the hull, oh, man, it does can do some real actual damage. The ship explodes even behind scrap of material. Let's continue on. Looking for a stress beacon. You arrive just in time to see an unusually well-armed NG ship destroy a small pirate craft. A teleport signal is detected. The truth is on deck. A young mantis in charred uniform has teleported onto the deck. He begs for sanctuary from the NG and offers to serve in exchange for your protection. The NG have already traced a teleporter signal and offering a deal in exchange for the prisoner. I have no need for you, so we're going to offer up the mantis. The NG captain is delighted and quickly arranges uh, for the transfer of the prisoner.
You come across an asteroid mining colony. They message you saying, uh, greetings, our supplies from my explosives have run out ever since the rebels blockaded the system. Do you have any extra? Yeah, sure. Thank you. They offered to have the engineers take a look at your engines. Let's go. Or your, uh... I do want to go to the store, but I definitely want to go to the distress beacon more. <laughs> so, no, you know where we're going. Uh, there's a ship here. God damn it. The stress signal originates from a small entry ship on attack from rebel fighters, but when the rebel sees Federation markings, he turns to attack. Okay. Not as strong as the ship. A little scary with having only one shield. In fact, that's something we should probably be focusing on right now. Also, I'm gonna get back to position. Kadump. Yeah, I think they're dead as well. Sweet gift giving up giving my dreams up. The rebels destroy, you pick the bones of their ship and wait for the small energy ship to catch up. The energy vessel turns out to be poorly equipped, barely run about really. They try to outrun the rebels, they need all supplies they can get. Let's uh give them, yeah, let's give them this. I forgot, we don't need this though. This is they wouldn't have gotten a few, uh, few chumps with that load. You provide them with munitions and supplies they would need for returning home. Generosity and magnitude unpredicted. Well being, Santex error, failure to a high, except this token. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Well, let's do this. We still need fuel. You find an abandoned mining station on nearby moon. Quick scan shows no life forms. However, you discover usable drone schematic. That's a really good one too. Speaking of shops, there we go. You arrive. As you MS arrives, you scrap ours. Our weapons for you. You're about to raise your shields when you realize it's just an NG trader looking for a trade. Buy our fuel. Basically, what else are we gonna buy? Sell this. Cause we're not really using this. Might be useful with the rock crew member to be fair. I should probably actually heal them up as well. Speaking of healing up though, let's do this. And to 10. Tack and Sophia. Get here. Damn it. To 10. Tack, Sophia. Get here. Get back here. All tree, you can get in here next. And we're looking much better. No distress beacon. We can go. If we go here, at least if the distress beacon's here, we can kind of still get to the exit. We're nothing for us down here. So I'm hoping the next sector, since we know it's a hostile sector, it's a uh, power sector, so we can get the, uh, or a rock troll sector, either one of those would work. NG ship in the vicinity, seeing you chump, armed to the teeth, immediately broadcast and surrender, subject goal wealth, NG motivation survival, transfer goods acceptable, explain that you're friendly. The NGs are satisfied with the explanation, beneficial, subject goal, long, long journey, remains compatible with transfer of goods from NG. They send over gear willingly, you feel better for it. Yeah, I do. Anyways, let's uh, turn this off. Turn this on. Nope, there's no distress beacon. I'm gonna get back to position. Do we have time to? We should have time to jump to at least this sec, this beacon, and let's see what we got here. A small or uh, platform orbits near this beacon. It uh, looks like some feeling station of some sort. Cheerily broadcasting reasonable prices and a spectrum of frequencies. I got a doc. Platform makes an offer. That's a good deal. See, it's sometimes it's, it's real, and I was like, we do need fuel, so we might as well give it a chance. <laughs> an actual, uh, it's an actual broadcast. It's actual fueling station. You arrive at the Long Range Beacon when you have to yell traffic charge. You can jump to the next sector. Scanners feel a large asteroid field nearby. Short range scanners may discover useful material while we wait for FTL to recharge. So let's explore the asteroid field. Two, we're getting all the fuel now. Scanners feel a number of asteroids with useful compositions. So you extract some fuel.
It is rock controlled. So, you know, I'm just going to go there and call it an episode here. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, comment, like, subscribe. See you next time. Peace out.